Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to another video. This is actually a follow-up video to a previous one where I gave you my top three weapons in each category of weapons in Battlefield 2042. But a few weeks ago, I decided to do a community version where I asked you guys what those weapons are. And so I did. Made some image polls on YouTube and now the results are ready. And here we are. So here's how it works. We go through weapons of each category from third place to first place. And then I give you the best setup for that weapon. Once we get things going, you'll know how it is. If you enjoy the content and want to see more videos like this, make sure to leave a like and also consider subscribing to the channel because it only takes one click and you won't be missing on the future videos. Alright, so I'd like to start with SMGs. You guys nailed it on this one and the top three are pretty solid choices in my opinion. Here at number three, we've got K30, which is just a fake name for the infamous Chris Vector. This weapon has the highest rate of fire in the game, which is 1200 RPM, and it really shreds people in close range. You have a 50 round drum mag as well, making you needless of reloading all the time. All in all, I believe it's a pretty solid SMG and it's one of my favorites as well. For attachments, I like to run a wrapped suppressor all the time because this weapon is a close range weapon only and there is no issue with a little bit of less muzzle velocity. MGL is aside for underbarrel, for ammo standard issue drum, then standard issue extended and then subsonic should do the trick and a red dot should be enough on this weapon. Number two is the AC9. I do believe it deserves a better place than the K30 and by any means I do believe it's a better weapon. People die to this thing in an instant. It's really unbelievable how fast this thing can kill people. More than 1000 RPM of fire rate, decent damage and a crazy good hipfire accuracy makes this weapon a top gun in the game. Again, wrap suppressor, SCNR laser sight for even better hipfire, close combat extended, subsonic and then close combat for ammo. And lastly, a red dot should suffice as this weapon is for extremely close ranges. And number one, I guess we all know the answer for this, the PP-29. This weapon is known as a submachine gun, but we all know how good of an assault rifle this can be. I mean, it really can kill people from ranges that are beyond a submachine gun. The weapon is accurate, has a magazine with more than 60 rounds, and has AR damage model. I mean, what else do you want? Wrapped suppressor, no choice for under battle, so we skip it. For ammo, standard issue gives you more fire rate, so we go for that in the first place, then high power, and then subsonic. And all you need now is a red dot sight to make people rage quit. Alright, it's time for assault rifles. Number 3, we've got the almighty ACR. A weapon both COD players and Battlefield players praise for being a part of history in their games. In 2042, I believe ACR has the best hipfire accuracy, which makes it really scary in close range. I'd go factory barrel on this with a suppressor for stealth. Then SCR laser sight should be a good option. For ammo, just equip all you got. And lastly, I'd like my red dot paired with a ghost hybrid to be able to reach those medium range targets as well. Number two is the VHX D3. This weapon came with season six. So many people were absolutely enraged with this weapon being overpowered. At least that's what they claimed. And it got nerfed three times, guys, to still be the second best AR in the game. That's just how funny Battlefield community is. This weapon has some sidekicks, so go for the Arkham Tactical Muzzle Break. Paired with a wrap suppressor, LWG grip for underbarrel alongside 40mm HE and 40mm smoke. For ammo, standard issue extended, standard issue and then high power. And for weapon sights, a red dot with a ghost hybrid should do the trick. And number one is the SCAR. The god of long range shots with a damage model similar to a nuclear warhead and an underbarrel grenade launcher that for some reason can't be removed. Again, Arkham Tactical Muzzle Break, then wrap suppressor and then extended barrel for long ranges. For under barrel, I like the armor piercing ammo, then high explosive, and then incendiary. For ammo, high power drum, then standard issue, and then high power should be good. And for weapon sights, a red dot, a ghost hybrid, and an M116X for long ranges. Moving on to light machine guns, number three, we've got the RPT31. This weapon's sidekick and low fire rate can hurt the experience sometimes, but if you get used to it, it is one of the most powerful weapons in the game. Shortened barrel for more fire rate. LWG grip and bipod for underbarrel because you will need a bipod for an LMG sometimes. Then for ammo, high power extended, standard issue, and then high power. For sights, red dot for close range and then target AT for medium range is the best combination. Number two is advances. This weapon is really a solid LMG with perfect mobility and 800 RPM of fire rate to pack a serious punch even in close range and even against assault rifles. So definitely don't sleep on it, especially if you're new to the game. It's a great way to start. Champion Muzzle Break, Wrap Suppressor, an Extended Barrel for Long Range Suppressive Fire, then STNR Laser Sight and a Bipod should make a good combination. For Ammo, Standard Issue Extended, Subsonic and then Standard Issue should do the trick. And lastly, a Red Dot Sight paired with a Ghost Hybrid should make this weapon ready to go. 
Number one, we've got the DFR Strife. It is the last weapon the Dotto 2042 ever got, and I believe it deserves this place. It is just unbelievably strong, especially with that high power rounds, and it has above 1000 meters per second muzzle velocity, making it even better than some sniper rifles in this regard. Absolutely crazy. Icon tactical muzzle brake and wrap suppressor for barrel, LWG grip and bipod for under barrel, high power, standard issue and then subsonic for ammo and finally a red dot with a ghost hybrid should be enough. Moving on to DMRs and for number 3 we've got the DM7 which is a controversial choice here by you guys. I mean literally every DMR in this game is somehow better than this weapon but it is what it is and that's your choice. So no more talking about that. Tactical compensator and extended barrel, LWG grip, 40mm HE and bipod for under barrel, standard issue, subsonic and then close combat for ammo and for weapon sights, ghost hybrid for medium range with 2038 thermal for long ranges. Number 2 we've got a monster DMR, the SVK. This weapon is a 2 shot kill in under 100 meters with standard issue rounds. This is just crazy and it can also be a sniper rifle because it is pretty much capable of reaching 500 meters and beyond even with standard issue rounds. So we're talking about a real meta DMR here. Shortened barrel and then extended barrel for both close and long range. LWG grip, 40mm AP, armor piercing, let's say, and then bipod for under barrel. Standard issue extended, standard issue, and then high power for ammo. And then goes hybrid and 2038 thermal for weapon sights and have fun hurting some snipers. And number one is the BSVM, also known as Asval. It's apparently just an upgraded version in 2042, and this weapon can be a ridiculously good SMG or a terrifying DMR. Shortened barrel and extended barrel for both close and long range, MGL laser sight and bipod for under barrel, close combat, subsonic close combat, and then high power for ammo, and for weapon sights, K8 hollow, ghost hybrid, and 28 thermal, and it's ready to go. Moving on to sniper rifles, and here for number 3, we've got the Gold Magnum. I remember it's always been a fast firing sniper rifle and that is also the case in Battlefield 2042. However, I believe the bullet drop hurts this weapon so much and it's generally not a good choice for extreme long ranges. Factory barrel, bipod, equip everything you have for ammo and then for weapon sights, BKS-8X and Longshot 12X should do the trick. Number 2 we've got the DXR-1. This weapon is the most accurate sniper rifle in the game with a muzzle velocity more than 1300 meters per second. Literally no bullet drop, but it's a bit slow. That's the only downside of this beast. Extended barrel, factory bipod, high power, standard issue extended, and then standard issue for ammo, and then for weapon sights, BKS-8X and Longshot 12X. And lastly, number one, we've got the SWS-10, which is the most versatile sniper rifle in the game. It's relatively accurate and relatively fast. I would say it's a middle line for every quality a sniper rifle should have, and people really like it for that. Extended barrel, BCG light grip, master key and bipod for under barrel, high power, standard issue extended and then standard issue for ammo and like always BKS 8x and longshot 12x for weapon sights. Now moving on to tactical weapons, number 3 we've got the 12M auto which is a 12 gauge fully automatic shotgun that is designed for extreme close ranges and with a drum mag you can really become a one man army and jump in front of a bunch of people and actually survive. So for the attachments Shortened barrel, MGL laser sight for under barrel, buckshot drum, buckshot extended, and buckshot for ammo, and a red dot sight should suffice for this piece. Number 2 is the MCS 880, which is a pump action shotgun and can be a better choice than 12M auto in some scenarios. Sometimes you can even one shot people, but you have less room for mistakes since this weapon is a pump action shotgun after all. Factory barrel, LS1 laser sight for under barrel, number 1 buckshot, number 4 buckshot, and 0 buckshot for ammo. And just put it right that side on this weapon and you're ready to go. And number one is the Rosk MK4, which is a railgun and has no real world model. It's just something made up in Battlefield Universe, but it's a freaking god gun with a muzzle velocity of 6740 meters per second, which makes it the fastest projectile firing weapon in the history of Battlefield. The entire Battlefield franchise, guys. And for the attachments, factory muzzle, High power capacitor, stream capacitor, and then burst capacitor for under barrel. No choice for ammo, so we skip it. And finally, a Bravo 3X for close to medium range, paired with a 2038 thermal for long ranges. And finally, it's time for secondary weapons. Number 3, we've got the MP412 Rex, which is a Russian revolver. And believe me, it is hard hitting and you will be sleeping on it if you're not playing this weapon. It has a decent fire rate for a revolver, I would say pretty much above average. 
for a revolver. And it fires really faster than the M44 Magnum. And that's why people really like it. For the attachments, there's literally no attachments that you can use on this weapon. And you have to just play it stock. Even though it's stock, it's a pretty good weapon. So go ahead and try it out. Number two, we've got the G57. This weapon can be really a submachine gun if you play it on burst fire. Believe it or not, the drum mag holds 35 rounds. This is literally the submachine gun grade ammo per mag. It's ridiculous how reliable this weapon can be and that's why people really love it and you see a lot of people playing it. So for attachments, I'd like to go with Arkham Tactical Muzzle Brake for Barrel. For under Barrel, the LS1 Laser Sight should do the trick. For Ammo, Close Combat Drum, then Close Combat Extended and then Subsonic. And lastly, put the red dot sight on the weapon and it's ready to go. And finally, number one, we've got the BFP-50 or let's just call it the best name it has, Desert Eagle or as we all know it, Deagle. This weapon is really a hand cannon. That's what people really want to call it, and it really is, because it is ridiculously strong, and it's really fast firing. For a caliber like this, this weapon is really fast, and that's why when people jump in front of you, they see seven to eight 50 cal bullets coming their way in like two seconds. That's instant death, bro and you can't really run away from it. That's why this weapon is so popular between the players, and you see a lot of people playing it, and it's really strong. It's really hard to counter this one. For barrel, there is no option, so we leave it at factory barrel. LS1 laser sight for more hip fire accuracy. I like the close combat ammo more than the high power because it gives you more fire rate, so that's why I prefer close combat over high power for ammo. And then, put a red dot sight on the weapon, and it's ready to go, and have fun with it. Make people want to rage quit, use this. And here you have it guys, top 3 weapon for each category of weapons in Battlefield 2042 based on what the community says. It was something that really came to my mind and I decided to just go for it and do it. And it turned out to be a good insight of the Battlefield community and what weapons they like to use more. So that's probably the point of it. And for you guys, the point is to just know some weapons that are better in the game, especially if you're new to the game. These weapons are more likely the meta weapons in the game that you want to play with more to get used to them and just generally get used to the game and the best setups are there as well you can just copy them use them and have fun with them so i hope you guys enjoyed and hope it was helpful and thanks for watching guys until next time stay cool